Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. <clears throat> Today I have another beer from Dancing Gnome Brewing Company out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, this beer is called Stratus. It just says Lager, 1 pint, 4.2 ABV. Um, you know, in the front of the can, it literally just has DG. It's in black and gold, so I think it's like uh, Pittsburgh colors. Um, but... What's interesting is I had heard that they were almost pretty much um, apologizing for making this. You know, saying like, we promise we won't stray too far, like, we just wanted to do this, we promise we won't stray too far away from making IPAs and all that stuff, and I don't, I just really don't understand that. Like, if you want to do something different, then do it, but don't act like, don't apologize for it, you know. I, I appreciate that they're going... They're trying some new stuff, and they're going outside of their comfort zone. Um, I just don't get the why why they supposedly act like that. I don't know, but it is what it is. Uh, I I know they know where their bread and butter is, also. So but crack it open and see what we got. So as you can see, this pours a uh, slightly cloudy. Um, it's not hazy, but you can't really see through it. Um, I'd say darker straw color with uh, it had a thin white head that uh, dissipated pretty quickly. <clears throat> um, I'd say the aroma is, is kind of similar to a lot of other like craft loggers that I've had. It has uh, a little bit of an earthy um, hop character, but not very prominent, and it's a little bready, um, a little like crackery. It's not bad for their first uh, for their first try for something like this. Um, the good thing is it doesn't taste like a macro lager. Um, it's 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 fairly clean. Um, it's not overly sweet. It doesn't have that like crappy alcohol tinge like bite to it. Um, the one thing it does have though is I think it has like a a stronger than normal um, corn taste and even if there was corn in this I don't really care but it almost kind of tastes like tortilla chips which is weird but that's kind of only on the back end the front end is pretty clean it is a tiny bit sweet but not like you know macro fake watered down apple juice sweet um, it does have enough hop bitterness to balance it out like I said it finishes with that uh, with that tortilla chip character which isn't necessarily it's not a, offensive it's just kind of odd um, I don't know that I would want that in this type of beer at least not in the long term if I was planning on drinking several of them which is in my opinion that's what this type of beer is for so um <clears throat> I'm trying my damnedest not to be a homer on this one. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to say this one is a is a drink for me. Um, it's it's high on the drink level, but I'm not going to quite say that it's a buy. And the only reason I say that I I, do, I think this was like 12 bucks for a four pack, so $3 a can, which is pretty you know, in the pretty much in the realm of other uh, craft loggers like this um but you know down here now that i can get like fauna flora excuse me resident culture um and like burial loggers the stuff they're doing i think they're all better than this maybe not way better but they are better so at least the ones i've had versus this one example 
doesn't mean that they won't make better stuff in the future or anything, but just a comparison of those specific beers. Um, so if I was back in Pittsburgh, I would not buy this because I think that I can get stuff locally that I enjoy more. So, But that's not to say that this isn't a quality beer, which I, I think it is, and I think it's a... It's a really good thing for, like, their first attempt at this. Um, so I really hope that this isn't, uh, you know, a one-off thing. I saw that they did, like, a a West Coast Red IPA, which also intrigues me. Like, I wish they would do... And those aren't even crazy styles, but just something outside of the hazy IPAs. Um, I mean, I know they're doing the fruited sours, but other than that, it's kind of not much else. Um, so I, I like to see them just do some... They don't have to be anything crazy, just something like this that's outside of their realm. I would appreciate. So, yeah, like I said, I'll stay. I'll stay with uh, drink on this one. It's close to buy, but not quite up there for me. So, that's all I got in this guy. And please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.